Saudi Krap. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. It's Wednesday, December 19th, and I'm your host, JP Mistanza, with the news you need to know. The acting chief of the Phuket Marine Office is silent on questions about Marine officials being prosecuted for dereliction of duty for allowing the Torbo Phoenix to put to sea. Acting Chief Wee Wat Chertung Wong was asked by the Phuket News in the wake of the investigation into the Phoenix sinking on July 5, in which 47 Chinese tourists died, from a vessel that was found to have been substandard and illegally approved, although he did say that the officials connected to the tragedy would lose their jobs. Although it's already been confirmed that other boats are also built in Phuket have the same design as the Phoenix, including having a truck engine, unbreakable glass panes, and balance issues, Mr. Wiwat assured that no boats with illegal substandard designs were still operating among the Phuket tour boat fleet and the boat operators whose boats were found to be substandard, they're being given a chance to make the necessary changes and won't be in the water until they pass further inspections. Although he declined to specify how many boats had been ordered to be rectified, he refused to confirm or deny if any officials at the Phuket Marine Office were involved in approving the Phoenix to be put to sea with tourists on board. Although the Royal Thai Police are still investigating. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. It's unclear whether police will be charging the driver of a truck that crushed a woman to death after she and another person fell off their motorbike yesterday morning. The incident took place at 9 a.m. in Talang, northern Phuket, as rescue workers found the driver of the motorbike with only minor injuries, but his passenger, Ms. Nikon Pakpo, she was crushed by an oncoming truck that was also traveling southbound on Tepkasatli Road. Authorities say that the motorbike driver lost control of the vehicle when he got close to the truck, and that's when they fell, and the woman died at the scene. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. The parents of a 22-year-old World Muay Thai Women's Champion suspect that their daughter was murdered and had not, in fact, committed suicide, as police have ruled. Nityapon Trisalai, a World Muay Thai Organization champion at 51 kilos, she was found hanged in her dorm room at Rajabat University in Rajaburi shortly before midnight on Monday night, discovered by a concerned classmate with police ruling it a suicide. Her parents came to Rachaburi Hospital late yesterday to collect her body, and upon seeing police photographs of the room and more, they suspect murder as the chair which she allegedly stood on was too close to her body and rope marks on her neck indicated she has been strangled while lying down, not by hanging. This story is ongoing. Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. A terrible story out of Saraburi as a 12-year-old girl was allegedly gang raped by five teenage boys in the province's main district and the police are being accused by the victim's father of failing to act. The alleged gang rape happened in the early hours of December 14 at a roadside shop in the province and police did not record the victim's complaint because they say that they were in the process of gathering evidence, according to police, expressing concerns over the boy's future, even going so far as to say that the, they could not detain the teen suspects because they were not caught in the act. The victim's father took to Facebook to display his frustration at the authorities' supposed inaction and he later met with the suspects at the police station where reports say he could no longer control his anger during the description of the incident and he kicked one of the boys, slapped one of the boys' fathers and allegedly trampled on a local administrator for helping the teams escape punishment. He's now facing a police complaint against them but authorities did say that the case would be taken up by the Crime Suppression Division. Remember the bus driver who was caught letting his seven-year-old son handle the steering wheel while also having a video call on a bus last week? Well, local officials have given his 5,000 baht fine to the woman who posted the incident online. The bus driver, 45-year-old Surachai Riaproy, was also recorded taking a video call on his phone while his son was driving, and he also had his license suspended for one month, although he did quit his job as a bus driver. The Phuket Land Transport Office fined him 5,000 baht and gave it to the bus passenger who recorded the video and posted it online, saying that they will strictly check drivers and their vehicles more stringently for the safety of passengers. 
And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button to check out all of our future videos. And if you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like on the Phuket News page. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. And until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as $75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to $20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure, bricks-and-mortar investment, offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.